And see, he's saying, see here, see? It's gonna be the last tutorial to make the heart of Azeroth now, see? Yeah. Save the planet like the big man's always saying, see? Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Sam Sneed, I brought you a gondoli to celebrate. Oh, well, well, thank you there, sir. Sir Samuel there, see? Yeah, I was looking out for him, see? Yeah. The big man, would you care for one? Well, well thank you there, sir Sam. I got my protein. More for me. I just want to do a quick thing on safety. You do this tutorial at your own risk. Read all the safety instructions, all the tools, the paint, epoxies, whatever we might be using, because I don't always have the safest tendencies when I'm using these things. So make sure you read them yourself and stay safe and have fun. Okay, so I just want to make this note before this tutorial that this tutorial is basically two in one, kind of, because we're going to make this one and I have a new method with the LEDs that I'm going to discuss in a second. It uses an LED strip and a battery pack, as well as the original that uses the 9 volt battery. Check the description for the, the times and when each part starts if you don't want to sit around and watch the whole thing, if you want to skip to the part you need. Okay, so I'm going to start this tutorial off with these LED strips. I'm not going to put them in yet, but I'm going to tell you about them. I just thought of this this week, and this all comes together one piece. You won't have to solder. It's really easy, but you can buy this on one piece. It's in the description to mix things, everything super simple. You can see that I soldered this right here. My case is a little beat up. I was doing a lot of experiments with mine, trying to get other things to work. And if you get your own LEDs separate from your box, one important thing is you want to get the USB type. They support five volts, that's important. And then if you get your battery pack, three box, three batteries, you want to have 4.5 volts. And the important things you can see here is that the top comes off here, but when this is laying down flat, you can still access the switch when the cover is on or off. So the important thing is you want to be able to glue this down to the heart of Azeroth, have access to your batteries and your switch. There's two different types of these back pieces now that hold in the Azerite piece. You can get one that uses the 9 volt battery if you want to do all your own custom electronics with the LEDs with a 9 volt battery. Or you can use this, which will allow you to have additional space to glue this battery pack into the inside, just like that. Okay, so for this part, we're going to glue in your harder, the Azerite piece into the harder Azeroth. I got this weird setup because it's, I'll show you in a second, but the first thing we're going to want to do is get this piece here and place this here. And the top of the battery where the leads will be will be at the top where the ring piece will go in. We're going to put this in as best we can. And as you can see, we're going to mark roughly where the area where we're going to place glue to hold this in just like that and we're going to try and make this level between our two things make sure it's steady and it's not going to fall and as level as you can make it boom that's level okay now we're going to the gold piece i believe that goes on top from the reference images i've been looking at places this is the top gold place it in there like this and if you molded it properly, it should fit nicely with three inches diameter. Bam. All right, now I'm gonna mix some glue. After I put some gloves on, because I'm using that epoxy. Who's gonna get that rubber glove? I got that rubber glove. I should get some bigger rubber gloves. These are really hard to get on. I'm gonna use this JV Well, the one-to-one -one ratio mitt. Make sure you have the Azerite where you want it before you start messing with the glue because you don't want to touch the other side of it because you don't want to mess it up. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put some, I'm just gonna glob it up where those arms for this middle piece are gonna hit lay down so that it's on the bottom. So not exactly where I put the mark, but a little bit closer to where the actual heart of Azerite, the Azerite is. The reason I did it like this is because not everybody might, someone might scale the model, make it differently. They're, they may mold their middle piece differently. So this piece is not a constant, so you don't know what size that's gonna always be. And it's the reason I didn't make this like a screw on piece or something. I made it so you can glue it in. Once I have that globbed up like that, I'm gonna take this piece and just gently lay it on top. 
and try and line it up as best as possible. Now, as you will see, notice that sometimes the sides will not touch the glue. And what we're gonna do to fix that is just glob it up around the edge. Put more glue around it. And there we go. That piece should be in there now and it shouldn't be coming out once that dries. I would not touch this if I were you. I was gonna flip it over so you can see. Once that glue dries, it's not coming out. Especially with, if you're using this same epoxy I'm using. So if you glue it in like this, it's not gonna come out. So I just wanna point out that when I was gluing this in and the hard, uh, battery pack, is that I was able to put some glue on these little pieces here that are easy to break off. I put some glue on the back of that so it would really strengthen that. And it actually did a whole lot. These are no longer loose at all. They're quite strong now. So if you wanna put some glue here on these pieces on the back, we won't see it. Uh, that's a really good idea. So this strip right here is 60 LEDs. Now I have two water Razoros. I'm gonna use these LEDs for, so I'm gonna split them into groups of 30. If you wanna try and fit all 60 into your one, that'd be pretty cool. You should try it if you want. I'd like to see if anyone does that. If you do, comment below. Let me see how that works out. I'm gonna show you how I do this with cutting it into 30. First thing we wanna do is find the middle. I have already marked mine in the middle with this green. You can see that it was soldered here originally. I'm not gonna worry about the solder. What I'm gonna do is just take my razor and I'm just gonna slice it right in the middle, right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this inside of here, but we wanna make sure that when we put this on, we can access our switch, so. Put that on here and make sure that when you, you can stick your finger in here and access your switch. That's important. That looks like a good spot for mine. That's where I'm gonna try and glue mine. I'm gonna use this plastic bonder for that. You can use any kind of strong adhesive that'll work with plastics. So I'm gonna get my epoxy. I put some gloves on for this. I'm gonna just get some out so that we can mix it up. Explosion. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. And what I'm gonna do is just place it into the heart of Azeroth in the middle where I'm gonna place my battery back. I mean, you wanna do this so you don't get epoxy all over your heart. And you just glob it up on there. You just, you want it to stick. You don't want it to come out. I'm just gonna spread it around right here in the middle with a glob battery pack. And I'm just gonna slam it in here. Right there, you wanna make sure that it's able to reach the glue on the bottom, which mine can't really reach the glue on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep buying glue in there until a little, the more glue you put, the longer it'll take to dry. So now I have a big, nice big blob in the middle. What I'm gonna do is take my battery pack and try and get it on there again. Make sure I put it on the right side so I can reach the switch. And there we go. Now get it on there best you can. This may not go on all the way with this technique, but you, should, you will still be able to screw it on. It may not go flush, but it will still work. So now I'm just gonna wait for this to dry. Okay, so know that your battery pack is glued in there and it's not coming out and the switch is where you can reach it. You're ready to start gluing in all these LEDs. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna take this cream adhesive on the back and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start pulling it all off because we're not really gonna use the adhesive. What we're gonna use is a hot glue gun. So I'm just gonna pull all this off and get it out of the way. My hot glue gun is ready to go. So what I wanna do is put this on here so I know that I don't get my wires in the way of this closing as I'm gluing them in. So I'm gonna pop this on. And then what I'm gonna do is get these wires here. I'm gonna kind of fold them up on the side like this. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue there, to hold them. So I can get them out of the way. I'm just wait for that to dry. This process is gonna take a lot of, glue something down, hot glue it, and wait for it to dry because if you try and hot glue it all down or continue it, before it's dry, you're gonna end up with these all over the place and they're not gonna be held down properly. So you gotta wait for it to dry before you can continue doing more LEDs. I'm gonna get a paper towel, something soft, to put my Azurite piece on. So now that that part's glued, I'm gonna continue working my way around the battery pack. And I'm gonna just start gluing the LEDs down. So I got some more wire here, I'm gonna get that glued down. And when I glue these LEDs down, I'm gonna try and put the LEDs to face towards the openings where the cracks are so that the light will shine through better. So I wanna get it like that. And then once that, once this glue dries, I'm gonna continue. Now that that's dry, I'm gonna 
fold it around the side like this. As you can see, that's bent around the corner. The LEDs are facing outwards. I'm gonna put some hot glue on that. And then I do not want to get in the way of this switch. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna fold it back around like this. And I'm gonna put some hot glue over here. And I'm gonna continue working my back around the other way. I'm gonna hold that there until that hot glue dries. And try not to get glue on the edge near the top, right here, because then you won't be able to get your back plate on. And now that you can see how this is, I'm gonna just keep doing that. I'm gonna wrap this around back to the other side. So I'm gonna go around this corner like this. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Now I have to hold it in place until it does dry. Okay, now you can see how this all is so far. We're gonna, we just started going around. Now we're working our way slowly back. And let me go over here, wrap it around a few times. Come back over here, add some more LEDs. I'm just gonna lay these as best I can inside here. Now here, I added some in the back here, some LEDs, but I made sure I didn't lose the ability to reach my on off button. Oh boy. Now we're gonna make this all the way back around and then we should be done. Just try and work it the best you can without going above the screw downs for the back plate. There we go. These are nice and glued in now. I'm gonna pop this battery pack off, the cover. Make sure it can still come off. I had a little bit of glue here stuck to it. I'm gonna gently pull that out. Pop some batteries in here. My on switch on. And there you go. You have lights now with your heart of Azeroth. And you didn't need any soldering at all. All right, so now that we have that done, we're gonna screw on this back plate. It lines up, you can easily tell these two notches here, they go back here on the bottom, in the bottom left. It just like, pops right on. Now if you got some hot glue in there or something blocking it, don't force it. I have some hot glue over here stuck to the side. Mm, bring it around town, mm-hmm, bring it around town. This piece with the LED strips, you can see that it's hanging out a bit. I'm not too worried about that. Sam, you better fix that. We can't have that. All right, so we're not okay with that. And uh, went ahead and created two new pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a rundown of what these are. This piece here, it's raised on the back and it gives you a lot more room for your electronics. I also have this piece, the, the, this button part is completely cut out. And the same thing, it's raised on the back so you have more room for your electronics. The reason I did this one is because this piece here, the switch is kind of hard to get to already as it is. And if I had this on there, even though there's not much there, I still can't really get my finger in there. So I have this where it's all cut out completely so I can freely get my finger in there and get my switch. 
and then I also have it raised on the back in a circle. Cause I did this one a little bit different. I took the switch out of the actual battery pack and I added one of these nice ones in there. And so the raise out in the back and the button's right there, perfect. Looks nice. Turn it on and off. Boom. Blue in the electronics now. So what I'm gonna first do is put the battery in there so that we know where it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna the on off switch, try and put it where I would like it. Get a face plate so I have an idea where the on off button should be. Put it right in here, it should be okay. Get the hot glue gun, the hot glue it right here. Okay, now that that's there, I'm trying to place out these LEDs around to cover all the holes. I'm gonna try and get all the LEDs of the same string close to each other. So here's one string, and then what I'm gonna do is just put, kind of put it over the hole and super glue it and hot glue it there. And I'm gonna do that for every, all the LEDs. Now one of the LEDs is kind of a spare, so I'm just gonna add it over here. I don't, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Okay, so once the LEDs are glued in, we're gonna glue I'm gonna just tie up these wires a bit and try and glue them down. All right, so now I'm hooking up my battery and I'm sticking it in there. Now I haven't printed this piece yet that goes across this, but you can do, you can screw that on with some screws. It does look a bit better. The light's off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks pretty dope. Screw on this back plate. It should fit easily. You just put it on here and push it down. I can usually turn my on and off and button. I'm gonna get some 3M screws. Gotta get that Gangsta Hotter Azeroth up in here, yo. Mm-hmm. What I'm gonna do is lay this out the way it would go around my neck. As you can see, it's all flat. And then I'm gonna take this piece, put it in here, and in here. And then that's how I want my rings, so I'm gonna just that over here like that and I'm gonna mix some of this epoxy and I'm gonna put it into the holes so what I'm gonna try and do is put it into the hole I want I don't want to get anywhere else I want to try and get it into the bottom of the hole so that when I push the bracket in there it won't squeeze up and get all over the paint that is what I'm hoping so I'm gonna try and get it just at the bottom There we go. Now I'm just gonna take this piece and push it in here. And then there you go. Now as you can see, I had some come out. So I'm gonna get a paper trowel and try and wipe that off before it dries. And there you go, the chain is on. Okay, so putting on this chain is just like the, the uh, plastic gangster one, so really similar. Just put it in there and go through the same exact gluing processes as the other one. Bam, it's next. That looks really good. Take a paper towel, wipe off the excess. And I think we're all done now. Hey, thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw and comment below with any questions or feedback you might have. Thank you.